so hello everyone i think that we are live now uh, streaming going on everything uh, can you hear me guys everything is okay yes yes everything is fine everything is fine now now fine also for me so hello everyone uh, my name is Dejan Vujinovic and I will be the host for this uh, Most Music Talk we have. This Most Music Talk series uh, belongs to uh, Most Project. Most Project is uh, the one that is uh, run by Hang Vete, Hungarian Hangwete and uh, eight other partners, a Creative Europe uh, uh, funded project. And its aim is to foster and to boost the music market in Balkans. So um, in the realm of this and in this context, we decided, decided to, to launch this most music talks with the relevant people from the music industry. So Balaj had a chance to talk to Simon and, uh, and um, uh, also Damir on Monday. Yesterday it was Exit and Passport Production uh, from Macedonia. And today it's my honor to uh, present my guest. It is uh, Simona Neumann. Uh, exec executive director of Timisoara 2021 and uh, Vuk Radulovic, he is the head of international re relations for Novi Sad 2021, European Capitals of Cultures. Hello. Hi, Hello. everybody. So Hi. please, Simona, tell me uh, how is life right now in, in Timisoara? Is that still some uh, lockdowns or how it's going? Well, actually, officially is uh, the final day of lockdown, which means that uh, as of tomorrow, we will have uh, new uh, regulations on how this uh, um, uh, new period will uh, go on. Of course, uh, it, it's not about uh, uh, going out completely as life was before, because as we have learned, uh, uh, these months already, uh, the world is changing and we have uh, to adapt in terms of, uh, of uh, the European Capital of Culture, Timisoara 2021. We have uh, tried uh, during this uh, lockdown period to uh, stay in touch, first of all, the, the whole team. Uh, uh, online, uh, talking uh, to each other, and also uh, being in contact with project partners and uh, uh, also other European capitals of culture uh, uh, throughout Europe. Because we need to see the challenges um, of this uh, pandemic, how the world uh, will look like, and implicitly how uh, the programming of big events. Uh, and also small events uh, will need to be adapted to these changes. So this is briefly uh, what's going on in Timisoara. Uh, we have started with the team to uh, move things online, at least during this period, uh, and to, uh, in a way, to brainstorm together with Novita, Delefsina, uh, Galway, Rijeka, which are these um, year capitals of culture, uh, how uh, to adapt uh, our programming to these challenges. There are many ideas. We are well aware that uh, European capital of culture exclusively online is uh, excluded <laughs> because um, it, 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 it comes into, let's say, contradiction with, with the very essence and the uh, philosophy of the European capitals of culture, but not only with that, but also with the... Um, uh, the artists' uh, uh, possibility to uh, to uh, um, perform uh, in front of a public and also uh, 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 to interact with the public. Yes, I understand. Uh, Vuk, uh, please, can you tell me? I suppose that uh, you have a live interaction among all the uh, cities that are that are supposed to be or the candidate uh, cities for the capitals of culture. So I suppose that uh, there is a lot of uh, that going on in terms of uh, in terms of uh, future programming. It is interesting, of course, that it is uh, the title year is 2021. But uh, also in this year, you were supposed to have a lot of programs uh, which should have happened. And uh, unfortunately, due to these walls, and we are now talking our, our 
general subject would be uh, music among the city walls. So city walls, not kind, kind of physical uh, boundaries, but unfortunately we have some other kind of boundaries now now uh, pushed towards towards the cities, toward the people. So uh, what can you tell us about the, the programming in, in this particular period in Novi Sad? Um, yes, but, well, firstly, I will start to try to answer the first question you mentioned regarding the communication among European capitals of culture. Um, I would say that unfortunately, diversely affected projects are in Rijeka and Galway. Um, they, they were forced to cancel more than 40%, I would say, of their programs already. And now they are doing reprogramming for the second part of the year with a large amount of uncertainty. And also they are facing a lot of other challenges regarding finances because of the economic crisis, which was uh, uh, hit by coronavirus um, infection, but also um, the problem of how to um, develop international cooperation or EU dimension because the trips are forbidden, the borders are, are closed. This is one another role that you mentioned that is unfortunately now in whole Europe and hopefully this will change, change very soon. Um, this is one of the questions that we are talking about among all the European capitals of culture, Elefsina, Timisoara and Novi Sad mostly, because we are preparing our program for the next year. You can imagine how difficult is, uh, is this in, in this moment to communicate with partners, to, to plan the programs, to plan the finances, because no one knows what will be the, the financial support in, in the future. So this is one of the main challenges. Regarding the program, um, I will try to be very brief. Um, when this crisis started, I will say that all the international projects in the next five months uh, were immediately canceled for our sector. Um, so this was a very big pro problem for us. And in the first moment, we were very worried how we'll proceed, but uh, we needed a fast reaction, a prompt reaction. So we decided firstly to start working remotely, start working from home. And um, uh, secondly, we also started to um, uh, develop digital content. This practically means that, uh, firstly, we started with um, digitalizing the cultural content we already organized and trying to bring it to home to, to citizens. Secondly, we started with several uh, digital uh, programs, digital projects that we prepared uh, directly for a digital media, for uh, social media, for web platforms trying to interact with our citizens. Uh, I think that we will, after this, have some opportunity to talk uh, about them as well in detail. Thirdly, we tried with our volunteers. So we, we have this Novistad volunteering uh, system service, um, which is part of Novistad 2021 project. We, we try to support the wider social initiative. So to be not only active in culture, but also, also to support senior citizens, uh, to support some activities of preparations of medical um, services to fight the uh, pandemia, et cetera, et cetera. So we had more than 3,000 hours of volunteering work of, of, of our volunteering, volunteers supporting our local citizens. And finally, we, we, we try to, uh, to, to, to keep being active in this European cooperation. So we started this pretty big project, which we called Europe at Home. This project gathered um, 30 artists from 15 European cities. This was launched by Faro, but also co-organized by Novi Sad 2021, where we um, uh, gave the opportunity for artists coming from this city to present their work uh, namely photographs and essays on the topic of Europe at home. So how they see Europe at home uh, quarantine, how they um, fight it, etc. And finally, we have this program uh, of, I would say, um, psychological support coming from artists as well to the citizens where they are sharing their experiences in this crisis, uh, giving advices to the people, uh, what they should read or what events they should visit online, et cetera, how to spend time um, in this uh, loneliness, let's say. But I think this is a very big question, and we need to share our experiences, our up approaches, and to think what, would be, what we will do in the future. In I understand. Uh, I've been talking to, to Dushan Kalichanin the other day, and uh, I know some of the things you are now mentioning. And uh, it is it is kind of a perspective of a, of a city, 
And me personally talking maybe from the perspective of the festival orga organizer, I know how much difficulties and obstacles we already faced in terms of postponing the event, canceling the event, communications towards the artists and so on and so on. So now I'm, I'm a little bit going more into the, the subject of music because this is the mo most music talk and um, uh, about the, the project most is about fostering the music market. So we know that uh, actually the artists have uh, tried to find different ways to go online, to make some collaborations, to, to have some uh, programs going still on, although there is no physical contact or the physical distancing in, is, is in power everywhere. So this is what I wanted to, to ask uh, now about uh, some of the music programs going on um, among your city walls in this period. Simona, I, I know that the focus in Timisoara is light but the light goes with the sound as well. It is, a, it is a perfect match in these waves. So what can you tell us about the, the music life at this moment in Timisoara? Well, uh, indeed, light uh, is about uh, many things. It's about energy. Um, it's about uh, our internal light, which we aim to bring outside uh, through culture. And music is a very uh, stimulating um, element uh, in doing this. Uh, what can I do? Uh, what can I say about the music life these days? I mean, not much because the lockdown had uh, has come with a lot of restrictions. No, um, no performances, no shows. Uh, nothing uh, were allowed to be organized. Uh, it, it has been very strict under under uh, under a military ordinance, and we still uh, don't know um, uh, what will be possible to be organized in the next period. We will find out in a few days. However, um, we have tried to um, keep the con uh, connection with uh, our partners uh, online and not uh, cancel uh, um, uh, only 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 big events that we know we don't have uh, uh, any possibility to organize anymore but to keep on uh, the the projects which still have a light of hope let's say uh, very concretely also we have uh, uh, started a um, uh, kind of uh, solidarity program uh, which goes hand in hand of course with the different artistic um, uh, events, uh, small events, which we try to organize online. Uh, and uh, one of them um, will be uh, this weekend, but uh, it will be a surprise, so I will not uh, share too much because uh, it won't be public. It, it will be in a private balconies of, uh, of uh, in, in different neighborhoods in Timisoara with the help of the artists, uh, musicians actually, who live in those neighborhoods. This is one thing, uh, I mean, uh, and other things will follow as, as soon as we know the conditions. On the other hand, because uh, we are speaking about world music and the most project in which we are also partners, uh, we, uh, as, um, we have a plan for September, uh, um, a kind of seminar uh, uh, session in uh, Timisoara for uh, um, festival organizers, for the um, World Music Festival organizers uh, from the Balkans, of course, together with the Western European um, uh, partners that we have. We have not uh, given up uh, the hope that we can organize this because uh, it's about uh, training specialists uh, in this field. Uh, however, we have to have in mind that if this is not possible, it won't be possible to be physically uh, um, happening, then we need to move it online. In the meantime, uh, probably uh, all of us have noticed these uh, days in isolation that artists uh, uh, cannot do other things than their art. Musicians are still singing. They are still, they still need and uh, want to make their voices heard, uh, their their art heard uh, uh, through online because this has been and is uh, the only tool so far. So life is not dead. It's just um, um, 
uh, isolated in a way, physically isolated. However, that I think it's my feeling that this has strengthened uh, another kind of solidarity uh, among us and um, also with with the artists. And we should not forget, and there are discussions now going on, at least in uh, Romania, uh, about how to help the cultural sector, how to help the artists, the independent artists, those who are not, uh, let's say, formally uh, in, a, in an institutionalized um, uh, uh, manner performing their art because institutions will receive more or less instructions on how to carry on their activities in the next period, but independent artists uh, need to be taken uh, into consideration. And for musicians, um, as well as for other performing arts, arts for musicians, um, interaction with public, it's very important. Thank you very much for drawing attention to this uh, very, very important subject. Uh, I think that tomorrow from 11 a.m. we are going to have a, a slight insight uh, through some uh, videos sent by artists all around the uh, Balkans coming from, from different countries, what and how they preserved their creativity in this, in this period. Uh, this is good uh, to also uh, lighten up this uh, uh, special pillar that is designed in the most project which deals with artists and Balkan music export. So in this way, we would like to draw attention of the wider audience to, to the, the, this exact project activities we have. So in, in this context, I would like just to, to, to mention uh, one, one, um, one uh, change we had in the recent days. It is the deadline for application, both for artists and professionals in the music sectors, and also for the urban creatives, what, how we call them, and the policy makers. The deadline is not Friday 15th, but it is Sunday 17th. So it is two more days. The people can prepare their applications if they want. The process of application is very simple, and, and uh, you can finish it in, let's say, 15 or, 15 or 20 minutes. So we are looking forward to see new applications in, 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 uh, in, the, in the context of these uh, uh, current calls. But uh, continuing with the subject of musicians and the uh, physical programs not happening and online programs happening, I would like to ask Book about these uh, specific programs because it is directly connected to world music. It is the Pocket Globe series, but it's online version. Can you tell us something about this? Yeah, sure. Um, thank you very much for this question. Firstly, I want to withdraw on uh, one very important fact that um, uh, music in Novi Sad is in special focus, as I think that everyone are aware of. Um, firstly, we organized this uh, big Dochek event celebrating the um, uh, New Year's uh, celebrations on 13th of January uh, during the uh, um, all calendar celebrations on uh, 50 different uh, events that we opened and we investigate new places in the city through music. So this was one of the most successful events we organized so far. But I, I want to be very clear that the program, a book program plan for 2021 will be published uh, in a due, due time and then you will have the opportunity to see what will be the program of Novisa 2021. All the projects we are doing now are the preparatory projects. Um, secondly, uh, we are really much dedicated to a new approaches in classical music as well. So we have this important program of Corso, which is uh, the, the biggest program of classical music performing on the streets on one boulevard in the city that we closed during those days. Um, and that gathers more than 10,000 people who come to enjoy the classical music in open spaces and, 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 and new approaches in classical music through Neo Festival. But coming back to your uh, questions, maybe I would like to share some our experience and experience of our partners in organizing digital cultural, uh, digital music events, I would say. Um, first of all, we started on our uh, uh, social media um, broadcasting um, the, the digitalized versions of musical events and concerts that we organized so far. And we must say that this project was very well attended in this digital space. A lot of people uh, watched these concerts and reacted very well 
and even as asked for more and more concerts. Um, so we started um, broadcasting this every Wednesday, 8.25, uh, 8.21 p.m., actually 20.21 in this symbolic, symbolical time. So in that sense, also we are bringing a high quality music performances to the, to the houses, to the homes of Europeans, I would say. And secondly, what, what is really important is this pocket globe uh, cycle that you mentioned. This is a cycle dedicated to world music. Um, it started in our cultural station, Etchek. Uh, this is one of the new cultural places which are uh, renovated and opened in the city within the preparations for Novi Sad 2021. And we started this um, 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 live, uh, actually, digital version of this event during this time on iCloud, where you have the opportunity to enjoy um, performances of, uh, of, um, uh, of artists in this field um, online as well. I would also like to mention a few more things, if you, uh, if you give me a, a few seconds. Um, Serbian National Theatre in our city organized very successful musical events on, um, uh, on, May, on the streets, actually. They performed um, classical music on the streets uh, during the uh, lockdowns, and this brought the attention of the people watching from their buildings, came up on their windows to enjoy culture and art in this social safe, I would say, manner with social distancing and without jeopardizing anyone. Um, also, there are some good examples from other European capitals of culture as well, because we made some research. For instance, in Rijeka, they organize music events on roofs. This is something which we, we could also uh, think about, uh, because this brings attention to people. You can hear, enjoy the music, but it's still safe, right? Um, on the other hand, in Wroclaw and Kaunas, they organize this small um, uh, music performances in the courtyards of the citizens. So they practically bring one or two musicians and uh, and all the uh, technique technique they need to, to to perform, and then they perform in courtyards and bring the people's attention to the music and art in that sense. And something which is I would also mention as a good example for me is this idea of um, music events, music on the wheels. This is something that I saw in Osijek, um, very close city to Novi Sad and our partners in different programs. So they, they organize music performances on the wheels, which go through uh, the city and then uh, enables a lot of people to hear the music, to bring their attention. And th th this could be also one of the forms how could be um, uh, music performed in, in this, in this um, period of the crisis as well. So this is something that I, I wanted to mention as a few examples of poss and possibilities for organizing events um, in music in this, in this crisis. Thank you. Thank you very much for this. And uh, I really can uh, only uh, support the, the activities kind of this pocket globe is. It is directly linked and it has direct links to, to our um, project as well, to the most project. Uh, and it goes really, really good. So I, I'm a regular listener to the online shows of the pocket globe and will still be there for sure. And um, I don't know. Uh, Possibly, we all expect uh, some uh, at some period this all to to close to to end and uh, that we return to normal life. So I wanted to ask ask Simona, uh, what do you think about uh, maybe some creative ideas that can boost uh, uh, the the music life in the aftermath of all of this? Or uh, can you suggest something from your personal experience or whatever you think that could be could be done? I mean. Uh, excluding maybe that uh, uh, people should should uh, um, uh, leave aside the, the bottles and the glasses they used uh, to boost their creativity in the lockdown. Well, uh, wh while listening to Vuk, I must admit I was a bit uh, jealous because uh, uh, they could organize even, I mean, uh, not only them, but also the artists could uh, um, do something during this lockdown because in our case it was very strict that uh, nobody was uh, supposed to be on street uh, streets uh, i mean not even artists except uh, just coming and going uh, from one point to another and in a very very well justified case so what i expect now uh, in the coming period is to have some um, uh, more relaxed period so then uh, we can get uh, authorizations at least uh, uh, for artists to perform in open spaces <clears throat> 
maybe not with public if it's not possible but just still to be able to be in neighborhoods or in a public square uh, and possibly not to gather too many people i mean the whole um, uh, philosophy of, of organizing events uh, and uh, concerts and uh, events in general is, is being challenged uh, nowadays and we need to think uh, in a completely new paradigm uh, and always uh, having in mind that we don't know yet uh, all the information we are waiting for um let's say public safety instructions uh, or restrictions or um yeah because we need to obey them uh, so um creative ideas i think uh, they will come um, uh, from the artists uh, themselves because they are the most creative and uh, this is why we always uh, uh, i have i i'm always listening to them. I always start from the premises that uh, they, they uh, uh, come up with um, their dreams, their uh, artistic vision, and uh, it's my role and my colleagues' role, manager's role to um, put them in practice, taking into, the, into consideration or uh, everything else. Of course, there are, um, there are many um ideas uh, which we would like to to um, put in uh, in place uh, uh, of course uh, um, uh, there will be probably possibilities to perform in a creative way let's say not maybe not uh, a big orchestra or a big orchestra spread in a big field or big uh, place but also other ideas like uh, um i don't know going out in nature or or and performing there or um uh, having more solo <laughs> performances or or duo at the at a certain distance so it it sounds a bit um uh, let's say crazy uh but um it's part of our the beginning of a new life or transformation i don't know actually when and then i think nobody knows when life will be as it used to be before maybe in, in two years maybe in one year maybe in five years so um i i think that we need to adapt uh, step by step and what i saw uh, and uh, it, it has been very uh, let's say uh, boosting uh, my my confidence uh, was that from the very beginning of the lockdown uh, people uh, artists were not panicking they were sending us examples of what they are doing uh, and in their home and that uh, they are still uh, alive as artists uh, so uh, that's a it's a very very good sound Wook, can you add something to this uh, in terms of uh, boosting creativity? Do you have some insights to what the musicians or artists are doing at this moment? Yeah. Kind of in well, lockdown situation. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure you will have an opportunity to talk directly to them and 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 to to directly ask them this question and this would be the proper way to do it. I think we will do the same. Um, uh, so our idea is to think about new possibilities to support independent artists. This is the biggest question at the moment. So we are thinking about um, opening um, different calls, supporting independent um, independent sector um, in that sense, and uh, giving them opportunity to propose new forms, new create, creative ideas. So not only to come from us, from the idea that, that we were inspired from different European countries, but also to give them opportunity to be on stage and propose what, what we could do. What I can say at the moment that in the following months, definitely we would need to be uh, focused on the local artists because of the borders closed and very strict um, measures. It is unimaginable for us to think of inviting artists which will spend uh, two weeks in isolation during, uh, during his work. Uh, so. Uh, Definitely, we will be more focused on local scene, on supporting them and supporting their creative ideas. 
What I also wanted to mention is that we definitely, as a, as a call community, all the cultural managers, also we need to invite artists, um, uh, representatives of different European capitals of culture. We need to think uh, just in case, you know, we, we all hope that this pandemic will not um, repeat again. But if, if, if uh, it does repeat, we have to have a clear plan what to do. So I'm talking here about new approaches in digi digital cultural content, new original approaches. I'm, I'm talking about new fresh ideas, not only digitalizing content, not, not only streaming or broadcasting or using some digital media. So to think how we can jointly organize this in, in better way and making more suitable and more supportive for the, for the cultural and artistic scene. But also we need to think about, as Simona mentioned, I call it social or medical safe cultural event of large scale. So how we can do it, but still to, 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 to be um, a safe in this sense of protecting the visitors and protect, protecting the actors of, of, of these events. So I'm talking here about, okay, we all, all know like drive-in cinema or theater, or we are talking about music performances on balconies, or we are talking about a music uh, opera with social distancing, you know, like a project where, where we have all uh, healthy measures, health measures implemented, and uh, we are completely positive that it won't jeopardize anyone. So yeah, let's hope that we would be able to organize events as we did before, but still we need to uh, think about plan B. This plan B has to be uh, always with us to think what we will do if unfortunately it is not possible to organize events for let's say more than 10 or 20 or 50 people and how we can engage audience. And to tell you frankly, this might be even a possibility to current, currently work on audience development, actually to, to, to reach this uh, audience which is not easily reachable, for instance, new generations with, which use um, a lot of um, modern technology. Yeah, I, I, I understand that fully, yes. Uh, so I'm just checking now the, the chats and I see that uh, we have uh, viewers coming from uh, Lapland, from Spain, from all around Balkans. And as you can see on the screens, there is uh, one particular question also that came in and it was it was on for for some uh, time and I will I just put it back. It is the question for Vuk um, coming from Anna Verbaski. I think she's from Novi Sad as well. What is the strategy to helping local artists uh, in in the in the uh, realm of this in, in in the context of your program uh, Novisat 2021? Yes. So first of all, thank you, Anna, for this question. Um, so um, we are completely open for new ideas and uh, and proposals. But what we can share at the moment is that um, firstly we are thinking about opening a special call to support uh, local artists for direct uh, cultural content within the framework of our program platform. So we are talking about, about grants for delivering the programs and new creative ideas in the second part of the year. This is something that as soon as possible, uh, as soon as, um, how to say, um, we have the permission to open grants, to open the calls, we will start thinking about opening this. Um, secondly, what is really important is that we are opening and preparing a big call for local scenes to uh, be involved in Novi Sad 2021 Foundation. This would be one of the biggest calls for, for support for the local scene uh, organized in our city. Um, it really depends on the circumstances when this call would be open. If this uh, uh, pandemic situation did not happen, it would be already open. So th uh, I'm talking here about the call to support local artists to be involved in all program platforms uh, of Novi Sad 2021 Foundation uh, uh for the for the year of title so those are the two big um uh, uh program platforms that we are thinking of at the moment as a concrete financial support to support uh to support independence meanwhile we, are, we will continue organizing the events in our cultural stations continue organizing the events which are on the regular basis and as i mentioned already we would rely on local local artists and local uh, scene bearing in mind the situation in europe and bearing in mind the very difficult position that we are aware of, of uh, independent, uh, independent art, artists, which are the mostly hit, I would say, um, with the crisis uh, at the moment. 
Yes. So uh, we are uh, closely. Uh, we are closing to the to the time where may maybe we can uh, wrap up uh, this uh, talk. And uh, um, this uh, studio formed kind of a triangle of us talking uh, talking here, which reminds me of a physical map of our towns, Timisoara, Subotica, and Novi Sad, forming a pr perfect triangle. So I'm very happy. To, to be close to these cities uh, in the forthcoming period to visit some of these programs. Um, is there anything else you would like to add maybe before before closing this, this talk? Well, uh, probably uh, like a kind of a message of uh, hope that um, uh, irrespectively what will happen, uh, human mind is so creative and so adaptable that uh, uh, there will be always a, a solution uh, for for uh, music for art for um, uh, what is uh, culture in general and that during this pandemic uh, just let let remember what has um, uh, what what has been with us all the time a good book a good music and uh, we should not forget that somebody has created that book, that music, that performance, uh, which is helping us even in, in, in a lockdown period. And we should be sensitive, sensitive to, to, to the artists and uh, try to find so solutions uh, for them to express their art. Thank you, Wook. I would just also like to add that on the trail we of which we already talked about, that at the moment, the role of all the European capitals of culture is to uh, be um, very closely connected, to work together and jointly, to have a clear plan about the implementation of European capital of culture, but firstly, to have a clear plan how to support local artists and how to support the European artists in that sense, and also cultural workers, and how to enable new opportunities for them to overcome this crisis. So European capital culture is somehow receiving a new role, um, uh, uh, the main role, I would say, uh, at the moment, this is to, to, to support the, the local and European scenes and working together in finding new solutions in the field of culture and art in, the, uh, in the, this upcoming crisis, economic crisis that everyone are talking about. Yes, thank you. Uh, I, I think that I will uh, just uh, turn to the last question we have here, uh, which is about the urban policies pillar of, of our project. Uh, well, uh, we are going to talk uh, tomorrow about this uh, much more. As uh, the supposed deadline uh, was 15th of May, it is, it is now 17th of, of May for uh, applications for also for the urban policies. And uh, tomorrow we are going to talk about all these questions that came into the uh, frequently asked questions box and uh, the people ask uh, on, on online <clears throat> but basically uh, i have to say that for the urban policies uh, it it uh, supports music related uh, urban initiatives by assisting selected projects connecting the music sector and urban communities so it is kind of forming tandems which are going to uh, be uh, then evaluated and uh, following the selection the urban creatives will receive training and assistance from their mentor for further development. And uh, it is uh, support up to 5,000 euros. So we are talking not, about, not, not uh, only about mentorships, we are going uh, to, uh, to have also uh, financial support in all the pillars, in the support of festivals, in the support of uh, uh, urban creatives, supporting artists, and also supporting the professionals in the music business. But more about that tomorrow from 11 a.m. I would like to thank you all for, for uh, watching us online. And uh, especially, I would like to thank uh, my, my guests tonight, Simona Neumann and uh, Vuk Radulovic for joining us in the Most Music Talks series, online series. Hopefully that we uh, see each other very soon in life. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. We keep in touch. Thank you. Bye-bye. Ciao. Ciao.